Happy New Year, everybody. How are you all doing? So, I am on holidays, like you guys know. I'm on vacation. And you guys are going to be mad at me because I did something. <laughs> Susan Fraser is asking the very question I'm about to answer. Hi, everybody. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Lass. Hi, Susan. Hi, Deanne. Hi, Christina. Hello. Hi, Vicky. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not doing my mini album because, guys, I finished it. I'm so sorry, but I wanted to get it done. And it's a repetitive what I planned to do with this it was repetitive and it was boring hi Vicki hi Sheila hi Debbie hi Lori hi Jen so <clears throat> this would have been extremely repetitive so my book is all done guys the night before Christmas I put some flowers I took one of the blings off one of these off and I, I dusted, dusted, well, kind of touched them up with uh, red ink, some uh, Prima flowers, roses, and I put some pine cones in here. These are the Tim Holtz pine cones. And then I hung a little charm off of this, which I thought was absolutely darling to go onto this book. So instead of having just another uh, charm, I thought that would look really uh, nice so I even these have three little bells in here and you can hear them kind of jingling and then I hung a couple of large size pine cones on here so I'm going to show you what I did uh, uh, for those of you that didn't see these already I'm going to show you what I've done so far it's completed now so this is page one in this page here on the front cover is all mats to add pictures to do journaling whatever and it's all the holographic paper that I used in here and I made little pockets so this is to put a picture on and you can journal underneath it or you can stick a whole bunch of pictures in here and there's a pocket to tuck that inside and then there's another pocket here so it's, it matches this one so what's over here is over here so I made that okay and this closes in this here's another pocket but I didn't stick anything in there because it was interfering with my magnet so I thought I would just leave that empty and then there's this mat here to put a nice little picture in there now for these pages where all the story is written in <clears throat> this is what was repetitive absolutely repetitive um, I had to do 16 pages like this. So what I did was I mod podged them. I framed them in red mat. Uh, this is just 110 pound cardstock red. And I sprinkled glitter on the actual page while the mod podge was wet. So I did all of those the other night and I just left them all on my table to dry. So I can just gung ho it and make the plastic covers. Like I did, you guys saw how I done this, and get them all glued in. So I just trimmed them off. I did overstuff this page once, and I had to tear it out and put, make a whole new page. So when I did that, um, this here, it just thinned it out a, a lot. I don't want to touch these because I even cleaned all of the plastic on these. So I made myself here another um, pocket. And you can put pictures here, pictures here, and you can journal here. And again, I used all that, that um, holographic paper through this whole album. And then this one opens up, this side opens up, and in here is a card, or a card, a tag, and journaling paper, or you can put pictures on this. I just wanted to keep it very simple. I didn't want to overstuff this because I want this to be my focal, is all of the written 
um, stuff that I did here with printed this on fabric. And then we got another little pocket here. Again, you could put uh, photos here. You could put photos in here. You can write about them on these little journaling cards. These are actual journaling cards that you can buy like this, <coughs> which are really nice to have in a mini album. Okay, so that's that page. <coughs> now, I did this one live. And again, this was um, the other night, New Year's Eve, is when I made this one. And this is really cute. I really like this one for journaling. Okay, and there's a tag. You could put a picture on that. And again, another pocket, live in this moment. And then this one opens up, and inside here are some more mats for pictures or journaling, whatever you want to do with them. So that's those two, and they're into these cute little pockets. Oops. Now... I finished this page and this page live on New Year's. So this is the entire story of Twas the Night Before Christmas, all in this book. So here you can see I put the holographic paper around on the outside, and then I pasted these on top. So there's that page and that page. There's some more pages. I didn't want to overpower these because I didn't make, see how they fit nicely together. I didn't want to bulk this book out like I did with the Christmas one. More pages. And then there's this one. And then we got to our big page here. And this is the one I worked really hard on today. So I want to show you what I did. I made a waterfall using all the holographics. This is a magnetic pull down. So you just pull this down. Okay, and you can put a picture here, a picture here, and a picture here, a picture here. And I used all the holographic papers, a picture here, a picture here, a picture here, and a picture here. And then just close it up. And I left room in the bottom here in case this gets bulked out. So there's that done. And like I said, I wanted to keep it pretty but simple, not gaudy. And then over here, I got a little over, over carried away a bit. Um, I made a, a nice little corner pocket here with the holographic paper with these cute little tags. And I used my tag cutter to cut these tags out. And they're so stinking cute. So I just sit them in there on a slant like that. And then this here is a magnetic closure. As you can see, it, it, it closes very, it wants to close. And then you're going to open this up. And then inside here, I have several things going on. I made back mat, so you can put a picture there. I made two pockets here. So in behind the pocket is a Hello Gorgeous, where you can put another photo on that one, and that goes in that pocket. And then another tag that says, You Just Shine, okay, and it goes in there. And this one says, Enjoy It All, and this is all from the holographic paper, okay. And then there's a, a tag that I put in here. I made these tags. I made every size. And then I covered them with the, um, the holographic paper. So I think this went kind of in behind like that. So I wanted it sloppy. You don't want it all nice and neat. And then over here, I made another really cute corner pocket that says life is fantastic with the holographic writing. And in here is just some journaling cards. I just kept it really simple. To put photos on those and tuck them inside the pocket. Um, there is a little holographic frame. I stuck that in here as well. I thought it was really cute. And then another little piece of journaling card to write on. Whoops, I didn't put that all the way inside there. Okay, in there. And then I just tuck that in like that. So that's that one. And again, this one bolts and closes with the um, magnetic closure love it okay and then this is your very last two pages which is this one and this one is the end of the story where he says happy christmas to all and to all a good night 
And then over here, I created just on the back cover. I didn't want to go wonky wonky. Um, I created a beautiful pocket and some mats. And this is here. You can put photos here on this holographic stuff. Here is one photo mat. That goes inside of that pocket. And then there's a journaling card. But again, you could put a photo here and write on this one here. And it's on holographic paper as well. And I did the same with this kind of journaling card and put it on holographic paper. And then I just cut this out that says noted. And I tucked it inside like that. And that's how that page goes. So I wanted to keep it so it wasn't so bulky here that you can't open that. And then the last page is this very last one. I covered it because it is got writing on the back and it is part of the book and at the very end. And I did put this uh, beautiful closure on it. So this book is all done, guys. It's completed. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, I am selling it, but it's going to be quite pricey. And the reason being is because everything in here that I did, this is to last a lifetime. And I took a lot of time to encase each one of these pages so they never tarnish, they never discolor. They're all covered in that 7 mil plastic and, and glued down underneath so and they're protected so there we go anyway that book is done absolutely love it there's the uh, spine again if you want to see the spine i did glitter up those flowers i don't know if you can see that but i did glitter them up hi kk all right so that's it for my uh, mini album, guys. That's the uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas mini album. And it's all printed on cotton fabric. This was all printed on cotton fabric. And then Mod Podge. Even, even and, more lasting. Sorry? Now, that makes it even more lasting. because. Of oh, yeah. But when you Mod Podge, after you, after you print on um, fabric and you Mod Podge it, it makes the picture so vibrant. Yeah, it does. It just brings out all the colors in, in all the photos. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Lori. Hi, Trina. Tina, I mean. Yeah, if you look at how these photos uh, got so sharp once I Mod Podge them and they dried the the mod podging is i just love this and they're so vintage these are so old pictures you know i could have done a million and one things with these but i chose to go this route because i wanted this this is so precious i'm just holding it like a book um these are preserved for life and i really think it'll be worth whatever i charge for it I really do. I love this one. And I just love the vintage pictures. So I did, it's why I didn't want to kill this book with so much embellishments to make it look really junky, you know? So I didn't want to do that. And I, and I used a nice silver. This is the stuff I got from Debbie. And I thought it looked really cute, so I doubled it here. And that's all I did different. I changed, Like I said, I changed the outside, took one of these pearls off the curl, corner and stuck some flowers in there with the pine cones and a little dangle and that's it beautiful book guys it's absolutely beautiful there is like a ton of pages one two three four five six nine pages i i put in here so love it all right yeah Anyway, I wanted to make my own art journal. Now, there's many reasons why. I'll give you a few of them. One of them is I can design this, this, um, this art journal, and I can use watercolor paper. And I'm going to use watercolor paper, and it is 140-pound watercolor paper. Um, so these are all thick, thick pages. and 
I mean, I could just leave this in here like this and just use this for an art journal. But then again, if they start to wilt, they will pull away from here because this is just per just stuck on here. You know what I mean? So what I like is I can use, um, I can put two pages together like this in my journal. Okay? Like that. Because one side is smooth. On on um, on a watercolor paper, one side super smooth and one side is super textured. Well, not super textured, but it's not smooth. And um, anyway, I thought I would create my own. I do not know how many pages I can get into it, but I am going to cut these down. And I will well save my watercolor paper, but I am going to cut this end off, the one that pulls off of this gooey, goopy stuff here. So that will be the one I'll be pulling off. Again, this is XL watercolor, 140 pound watercolor paper. Now, I do have my chipboard here, and I need to decide how big of a book do I want to make and how many pages I want to get into my book. Okay, so what? Um, make sure you use always use your chipboard the right way. Okay. So it doesn't bend. So this is the uh, part that doesn't bend. This is the part that does bend. See? You can bend it that way. Flip it around. You can't bend it. Okay? Anyway, this is just my Tyvek envelope that I'll be using for putting my, my spine on. Now, I need to decide how big I want to make my art journal. So I want... I, I really don't want a, a big ass 12 by 12 art journal this big. So I am going to cut these down and I'm going to make, um, let's see, let's make, since these pages, let's see how big our pages are in width. I think they're probably only eight or nine inches wide. Okay. So they are nine inches wide. So I will make this 10 by 10. Yeah, uh, 10 by 10. Well, I don't think a 10 by 10 would be, we'll see, because there'll be an inch over here. And I'm not going to do anything to my edges. I don't want to ruin my edges, okay? <coughs> so how big do I want to make it? So 10 by 10, I think uh, 10 by 11 should be good. This is... Uh, 12 inch cardstock. So if I cut that off, I no, I'm gonna make it 10 by 10. Okay, all right. So 10 by 10 will be those sheets. This has to be bigger. So we're gonna cut these 11 by 11. Let me get my cardstock or my chipboard cutter because I don't want to ruin my uh, other one. All right, so we are going to cut these two by 10. So let's go turn the light on. Let's cut our chipboard 10 by 10. Okay. Oh no, I didn't want this 10 by 10. This has to be 11. Oh, you know what? This will be fine. No. It'll work? No. I it could up. be an inside the flap, little design on the inside. Uh, okay. I, don't, I want my pages to be tucked underneath the actual cover. Yeah, so I'm going to go 10 and a half. So I'll go half inch bigger. Okay, so this is ten and a half by ten and a half. That did not cut. I'm not pressing hard enough. There we go. Ten and a half by ten and a half. Half. 
now we need a spine and I really don't know how big of my spine I want to make. So let's cut this. Oh wait, this is too short, right? No, it's not. So 10 and a half. I need it to be. And I need to do some figuring out with some numbers before I decide how wide I want my spine. All right. So. And this is just scrap. I put it in the garbage. Now, this is going to be the, the size of my journal. But I need a nice big spine because I plan on doing mixed media in my journal. I plan on doing lots of goodies um, on, on a two-page journal. So let me, let me do some figuring out. I want to figure out how many pages I want to put in my book. And then we can start cutting our paper. All right. So if we go with a one, two, three, five inch spine, one, two, three, four, five. And at every quarter inch, I can add a page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No. Can't have 20 because this is where this is where we would butt up our spine. We would butt it up with our cover. So I can do 18 pages. All right, at a quarter inch. So we're good. So we are going to take this now and cut this to five inches because we want a five inch spine. It is going to be a big journal, but like I said, I can bulk this journal out if I if I make my own journal, I can make bulky pages and a lot of them so let me make sure i have this the right way so i need a five inch piece this will be my spine and i'm sitting down to cut it that's why it takes longer okay that's done so there's that there's these we are going to cover them, don't worry. And let's get 18 of these pages and get these cut to size. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Are you going to make me rip one at a time? <laughs> five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, whoops, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay. KK cannot get in for some reason. How come, KK? Try, try putting the link in the. In the right in chat like I've been doing and maybe because that worked for Martha. I think it's because are you on an Apple device? Is she on Apple? I don't know. I think she got one for Christmas. I know Casey, with uh, try that try that Google Hangout there and see if you can get in there, girl. Okay. All right. So we're gonna cut these all down to 10 by 10 so they fit in oh wait no 10 by 10 and a quarter remember that because you need a quarter of an inch to score so so 10 and a quarter so remember that 10 and a quarter is the length wait we can't do it 10 by 10 this is only nine we could do it nine by ten so I could change, I can cut these, <clears throat> I can cut these down. So this is only nine inches wide. So let's change, let's cut these down. Okay, so this is 10 by 10. Okay, I got to fix this before I go any further, before I get confused. Now I got to change the, the width, which I'm okay with because I didn't want a square book, <laughs> to be honest with you. 
So now we're going to change these down to nine and a half instead of ten and a half. I'm dropping it a whole inch. So now we're going to have a nice normal book, which I rather have. The spine, we don't have to change the spine. The spine is going to stay five inches. It's this that's going to change. Wait, that didn't seem right. Nine and a half. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. There we go. And then this is there. All right. Now we're talking business. Okay. So now we are going to cut these to 10. Right? Okay, and then we will score them a quarter inch, and that's how we will. I'm going to score some this way. So all my pages, um, I don't know what it's like to work on the back, if you can watercolor on the backs of these. I've never tried. So that's that should be fun. All right, so 9, 10 inches. Yeah, there's no point in fancying up the edges on these because you're going to journal them. There she is. Hello. Hey, how are you, girly? Finally. How was Christmas and New Year's? I'm good. Oh, yeah? Um, I fell asleep. <laughs> you fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. Well, at New Year's? Uh -oh. I'm back New Year's Day, New Year's Eve for my sister, so yeah, I was pretty tired. Right. So what do you think of me making my own art journal, girl? Uh, yeah, I'm working on some painting pages, paper. I'm painting some papers. Oh, yeah. I'm using old envelopes too, business envelopes. I thought it would move it. I really don't think it matters which side I cut, but I'll cut that part off. Okay. I haven't quite figured out how to use this yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be fun to have 18 pages. I could do a lot of journaling in this. So we can, you guys can make your book however big you want it, however small you want it, however many pages you want in it. It's going to be all up to you. This is my choice at this amount so we've got three more to go three more okay one more awesome okay now Let's get these all scored so our pages are all ready for us. So why did I have some this way and some that way? Because I'm moron. And you can always save these, but I don't. I'm, I'm not a scrap saver. <laughs> you guys know that. So. <laughs> I'm not a scrap saver. Lenny Pooh likes that about you. What? That you don't save your scrap? Because well, every time that you drop some or throw some in the garbage, Lenny's under your desk to collect it. Oh, Lenny is, is she? Yeah, remember that? Yes. Okay, <laughs> so in order to get all my pages to be exactly the same size, I am going to not score over here. 
I want to score over here. So if my page is out a little bit, not quite nine, then this one's going to be nice and square. So I'm going to just score it at a quarter of an inch every single page. But I'm scoring it from the right-hand side. So I'll just, it's nine inches, so I'm, whoops, I'm scoring it at eight and three quarters. And don't do that. Okay. That way, all my pages will be the same size, even if I'm a little, see how this is not perfectly straight? Ain't gonna matter when it's part of the spine. What will matter is all your all your pages um, matching up on the outside. So I'm just gonna try and get rid of that little itty bitty score mark that I made. And where's that other one I screwed up? Right here. Just kind of rough it out a bit. Yeah. All right, back to this. <laughs> Nikon wishes you could re uh, reach your garbage can, your waste basket. basket. Yeah. Dumpster yeah. diving. There you go. So you can see how easy this is to score or not. I keep going off track because this paper is so thick. There you go. Take your time. Don't rush. Whoops. <laughs> Still don't work. <clears throat> I'll just rub out my mistakes. See? Rub it out. Because I don't want it to bend there. Let me do it this way. Don't you dare. I felt you wanting to skid. Yeah, so this is the best Nikki way. What's that, KK? Mm -hmm. This is the best <laughs> way. What? I guess they're talking about digging in. They're digging in in your trash for scraps. Oh, yeah. My my garbage can fills up pretty quick. I can tell you that. Whoops. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. I made a boo boo. Fix it. Fixing. Boo -boo. In aisle five. So, yeah, see, this is going to make absolutely like the borders. This here, I'm telling you, not all of these are exactly the same, but my pages will be. So, that's why you don't want to. Well, crooked like I keep doing. It goes off on me. That's okay. It's, it's an art journal. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have art on it. You're going to see it. It's artistic. Yes. Okay, one more page. And we are all scored up. Okay. And I like it because it's nice, thick paper. And, you know, um, I can put some good media stuff on that. Some really, really good stuff. Okay. So let's fold all our pages. So we're going to want one going this way. And I want one going this way. So we'll fold it this way. Oh my God, Karen, if there's anything like important to speak out, please say it because I'm drowning. My nose is drowning me. Ugh. Okay, so that one and 
this one this way. Okay. Whoops. Was it? And it's gonna go this way. Whoops. Whoopsies. Whoops. Wrong way. I almost folded that the wrong way because it was smooth side. Okay. So these should all fit on that spine perfectly. They should all fit. And my pages should all match up perfectly too, hopefully. And then we got two more. Who guess whose birthday's in twenty eight days? Yours. Yep, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be old and crusty. Crusty <laughs> and crusty. I said old and crusty. Oh, For God. God's sake, woman, take a bath. And my, oh. husband, my husband just said I already am. Oh, there you go. I don't I feel loved? You're feeling loved, right? are you? Now, right? I'm going to cover. Now, I don't know if I should use white. I think I'm going to use white because I can do anything with white. So these are 12 by 12 sheets of white. So I want to cover my journal albums, journal book. And we're just going to go around like this. So it's best to cover it before you join the spine. Like so. Actually, I am going to put... Vicki Phillips says... Says, hey, Ruby. Hold on. She just made me laugh. Yes. Where'd it go? I got to find it. I got a little excited there. She goes, hey, Ruby, I got one of those boner things you were using. I usually use a crack case. Right? <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm boner case. Yeah, yeah. A boner, right? Eh? You got a boner one. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Miku likes to chew on Ruby's boner. Yes, he does. <laughs> he eats them. <laughs> he likes to chew on everything. Uh, <laughs> typos rock, don't they? Yes. Come on. Ooh. Quit doing that. All right, I need to fix this. All right, get in there, biatch. All right, you go here, and you're going there. Now stop moving. All right, jeez. All right. I'm trying to do this delicately. Maybe I'll just use my hand. All right, so there's this one. So this is my front cover of my journal. So that's what my journal is going to look like. On the outside and I will have that covered too so no need to worry your don't worry your boobies off girls I'll be fixing <laughs> y'all ain't right just so you know that I'll lick and stick on. what I'll lick and stick yeah <laughs> <My name please>. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
<laughs> okay, there. Ta da! So now I'll just go around and use my finger press instead of that bone folder. They really don't need it flat, flat. Okay. So it goes in that way. And we will close all of this up eventually. So this one here, I don't need this whole sheet. So I will cut her down. Get her done. Get her done. Down. Cut her down. <laughs> And if anybody's looking at my jagged lines, it's too bad for you. Don't look at my jagged lines. What? Don't look at my jagged lines. I'm looking at them. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at those jagged lines. Right? <laughs> They're super bad. Oh, my God. I know. Thank God they're getting hidden. Right? Like, look, who cuts like that? <laughs> yeah, but I, they're already I, emblazoned in my memory. I mean, I, right? I'm going to have to get therapy now. I know. Hope you get therapy. <laughs> I know. All right. So let's do a little do a little cut here. Hey, Clint. And a little cut there. Uh, I'm just mitering the corners. <coughs> miter, miter, miter. Miter the corners. Uh, Vicky said you should have used your boner on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I softened it. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as we hear the front door, Jeffrey running for the Takar. Right. Get the hell out of here. I almost spit my cappuccino all over my screen. <laughs> Capuscrina. I had to run to the kitchen sink. <laughs> cappuccino. Oh, retard. Okay. I bet you I didn't even cut these the right way because I'm an idiot. Oh, yes, I did that one. And I didn't this one. But that's okay. Who cares? Don't pay attention. I don't care. Just so you know. Find the right way, and that's all that matters. Okay, so let me get some scoring tape. And I'm probably going to need several sizes again, so let me just bring out the old whips and chains here now. Oh, my God. Bringing out whips and chains. <laughs> I sure am, my fan. I'm feeling a little scared. What about you, lady? Are you scared, muffin? A little bit. Okay, I'm going to use my non-stick scissors for this job. Oh, pumpkin. We are going to glue these down. And let's not get... Oh, shoot. Well, it's stuck there now. Uh-oh. Yeah, ain't getting that off. So that's all right. It's only to glue down the spine to its peeper. So you guys can't see me, can you? Because I pushed too much of my camera up. Hang on. I will fix it. I'll I can't see you because I'm still hiding under my desk because I don't want to get whipped. No, it's because... <laughs> Go. I'm a scared. You're scared? You're a scared? I'm scared. Um, where did you get the right red tape at? <clears throat> Ruby, sorry. At um eBay. Token on cappuccino. eBay. Hold on. What? Okay, make sure you give this a good boner. 
Quit it! I'm following Vicky. What? Yeah. I'm just waiting for Tony to come running up the steps at any moment. <laughs> what the hell is going on up here? All right. So, I'm going to take my second widest shape. Okay. And I'm going to... All right. I need my sticky mat. So, my stuff doesn't stick. The paper. Right? I had we're, gonna a a, we're gonna have a sticky mess here. I had a shower. I know I washed my ears, but I swear I am hearing all the wrong things. Now I want to put this as close to the bone fold as I can without going over onto the bone fold. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Don't read chat. That's all I got to say. I'm not. Because the day will just be over. <laughs> yeah. That's I like saying don't in. smell that and you smell it anyways. She's going to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't smell it. <laughs> She's God. huffing away over there. That's inhaling. <laughs> Okay, Tammy Porter, I know what she's saying, not to read, but I'll read it. She said, bone it good. Bone it real good. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm rubbing it really hard. <laughs> we're all going to hell in a hand basket. <laughs> I'm already in hell. Look, I'm rubbing it really hard. Oh! <sighs> she's <been> hard. <sighs> Just when you thought it was safe to come out from under your desk. Better get back down under it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to start naming saying. dust bunnies here pretty soon. I'll be under here so long. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Rubbing hard. <laughs> Not too hard to make there, it yeah. <laughs> right, Tammy? <laughs> We're such naughty sea hags. Not me. I'm you are. I'm the only <laughs> clear cut, clean person. Your guys', your guys <laughs> mind's in the gutter, not mine. Your guys' mind's in the gutter. You, mi you move your mind over so mine can float by. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, now I'm just going to trim these down. Whoops. Get rid of my jagged edge that's embedded in Penny's head. <laughs> oh, my eyes. Not like I'm going to cut any straighter with these. I could trim it on the trimmer, but... Time I get it out, line these up. I could have them already cut. They don't have to be exactly perfect. Just a little neater than what this is. But you don't want any paper exposed. Okay? That's what I'm going for. This paper has to all glue down every ounce of it. So this is why I trimmed it. Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah. Okay? Now, this is the fun part. We've already rubbed that down, so let me get my little picky pokey tool. Picky pokies. Yep, and I'm going to start um, peeling these back, but I am not going to completely peel them all the way, just in case I messed up. <laughs> I'm scared to even read chat. My nose keeps running, laughing makes it worse. Blow it out. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is try very carefully to do it this way. I don't know if it's going to work or not. It keeps pulling back. 
it'll is line this up right here at the bottom so I know it's lined up. Pull these all out. Okay. Pull this out. Come on, don't be a douche. Oh gosh, this stuff is so sticky. Once it sticks, it's okay, gone. how do I copy it? Are you gluing yourself to it? No. Try not to. Because that'd be like really funny. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? Okay. I'd giggle. All right. So pull these out now and stick it down. Okay. Okay, so now. Oh my goodness, I have the link right here, but I don't know how to copy and paste from my MacBook. What? For the red double sided tape on eBay. Oh. Well, there's a whole bunch of, I mean, uh -huh. there's the name brand stuff. I got it. Just get Wonder Tape. I think. Did it come in here? Just look for double sided I tape and now. you'll see it. I put red double sided tape. That's how I put it in there, but I don't know how to copy the link. All right, so there is the spine piece is almost done. I just have to do a little bit of what happened. And there it is. So I don't have to worry about the back, this paper coming off, but I will be putting um, uh, watercolor paper on the outside of this. And I don't know if I'm going to put it on the spine, but I will be putting it on, 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 my, on my thing. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Oh, help me. Hi, Crystal. I blame KK. I do too. It's all KK's fault. What do I do? You come in here, Everything and all of a sudden, fault. I'm just everything is is innuendo. Oh, I feel so loved. You missed me. That's what it is. Yeah, I did actually. Everybody, was Everybody missed with you, KK. Everybody was asking. KK in the house. KK in the house. KK here. Where's our KK? <laughs> me love you. Me love you long time. Me make you cry five dollar. Okay. <laughs> okay, cry five dollar. Oh, okay. I make you holla. You right. go now. You'll be here. Oh, too you come long. in here. It was crooked like that. That's why you got no boyfriend. Crazy, <laughs> 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 crazy. I missed your craziness. Um, professional. There's actually a comedian many, many years ago oh, who ready, is. Ready, ready. Japanese, I believe, but he was born and raised in Texas, which he always makes jokes about that alone. But oh my God, the skit he used to do years ago, oh, he would just kill me. I'd just be rolling. I'll cook you dinner, five dollars. Five dollars. Okay. Make American food, five dollars. Me love you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she ain't right. <laughs> Just ain't right. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> She's pretending to be sorry. Me yeah. no English. No okay. English. Nobody's falling for that. What? Do it. What? What? Oh shit! Me look at you, all pretty and pink. Okay, for real. Screw it. I am sticking this down first. Everybody, get a look. This is Ruby in her natural habitat. <laughs> 
the elusive Ruby. Ruby Actually, Shields Maximus. Can you guys see me better like this from a little bit further away? I'm soft in the head. Uh, All right. Fun times. Fun, fun, fun. I like hey, it with the stripes on it. Hey. Are you snorting, Clint? Clint is snorting. Oh, he is, is he? I call it popcorn. <laughs> so I discovered. Sorry, the hubby acting a little cray cray. He playing with dog <laughs> Sorry, everybody around here is a mad hatter. All right. Now, I need glue under that because I pulled it up and it ripped my chipboard. Uh-oh. Yes. So, oh, crap. Did I just stick that on itself? Of course I did. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, Woohoo. Miku. Cool. He's whistling. Does he know you can hear him? Yes. That's why he's doing it. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He's a smart cookie. So red tape, this tape I'm using is extremely high tack tape. Believe me. That, yeah, awesome. that red tape stuff is, whew. Yes, it is. Put somebody in bondage in that thing. Yeah. Hold them hostage. All right. So let me get this peeled off of here. I'm just doing it so it stays this way. All right. No, don't you dare stick down yet. <clears throat> All right, get there. <laughs> Oh, my God, that scared me. All right. Hold those two. Hold those two. Happy. <laughs> and Miku, too. Yep, the dog gets them going every time. Oh, he can hear that? Who? Oh, it's your dogs. I thought that was that. Okay, Tom. Yeah. No, that is my house. I have myself muted. I'm smart. <laughs> okay. Ruby Crystal says, now Ruby's sticking to things. Laughing about off lube, I tell you. Lube. Yeah. <laughs> I am making a mess. Now well, I need the second largest roll. Why don't you fall? Okay, you did. All right, now you want to get it as close to the score line as you can. And then we'll trim off the excess white and our corners. So I'm just going to trim that like that because it's just going to be a lot easier. And these are the no stick scissors because this high tack tape, um, it sticks to your scissors. Gums them up fast. Gums them up really bad. And it doesn't do that with these no stick scissors. This is what they're called titanium non stick. There's, don't they have like Teflon or something on them? Yeah, they're sort of like a Teflon. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So, let's just re-fold this. It doesn't have any of those. I, I, I like that full stick situation. What do you mean? 
I don't have any nonstick scissors, so obviously I must really like my scissors all gummed up for funsies. I'm not sure. For funsies? <laughs> Shits and giggles, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I like my scissors gunged up just for shits and giggles. <laughs> well, I'm obviously not bright enough to get scissors to avoid that. Right? All right. No lessons shall be learned by this girl. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ow, that's pulling the hairs on my arm. Just the outer part of it where it's rolled up. Yeah, now I need these oh, scissors. Oh, God, I just imagine that red tape stuck on your arm. Oh. Yeah, pulling the hair all off. So you want to trim off all this white, either that or put score tape on it. And I ain't wasting score tape, so I'll just cut it off. You know, we could probably save a lot of money instead of getting bikini waxes. You can just use that tape. Oh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah. Here, honey, tear this off for me, and I'll try not to knock you out. <laughs> and scream at the same time. Yeah. Oh. Joanne wants to know, are the nonstick scissors more expensive? I got mine at the dollar store. <laughs> no way. Well, there you go. There's your answer. You and your damn dollar <laughs> store. Yes, mine came from my dollar okay. store. <sighs> Cut your scissors some oil. That's nonstick. I don't even think we have scissors at the dollar store <laughs> that I saw. I don't remember any of any kind. And when you're working with score tape and you're doing a long section like this, always start in the middle, pressing down in the middle like this. Okay? And then work your way out and you always have flat sides. Right, Elizabeth? There we go. So there is one, two pieces of our junk art journal done. I keep on calling it a junk journal. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. I need the big one. That must be my fault, right? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Everything's your fault. <laughs> It's Whether you want to, fault. yes, no matter what, it's your yeah. fault. No, 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 no. In this household, it's the hubby's fault. Yep, everything is here is my hubby's fault, too. I've right. heard you say that before. I blame Jeff, it's Jeff's fault. He's yep. not even home, <laughs> but I'll still blame him. Yep. They used to crack me up when I first... It's your fault. You weren't here. <laughs> yeah, you weren't here to take the fault for no fault. <laughs> <laughs> right? Guys, I'm just... It was one time you couldn't find something. You're looking all over. Obviously, something that only you touch. You're like, damn it, Jeffrey. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> like, what does he have to do with it? We were all laughing. I don't remember if it... Was something he put I away or yes, even no the... you you were doing it on purpose oh just saying that you know everything was jeffrey's fault you did it like that whole week too everything that happened <laughs> right it's okay. i taped this wrong damn it jeffrey look what you did <laughs> we were all laughing <laughs> poor jeffrey <laughs> poor jeffrey she comes home, oh my god what did i do she's mad at me <laughs> You have no idea. What the heck did I do now? I, I bet he's, he's probably pretty Absolutely. Useful. No stick. Jeffrey's in here. Jeffrey, get out. What are you doing? <laughs> I heard his name a billion times. I look like Crystal A.B. to you because they just look like Crystal to me. Let me have a look. Nope, that's just strictly Crystal. That is not Crystal AB. What are you looking for? Rondells. These are Rondells. Yeah, they are Crystal AB. Let me look. It's hard to tell. Hi, Rajul. All right, ladies. Pay attention to this. 
a guy yeah. who actually Those knows. Crystal AB. Those are Crystal AB. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how impressive is that? He heard more. He what? came in, he heard it. We were blaming him for stuff. Okay. All right. Done. Now the fun part. Where is it? Jeff, get back here. You stole my poker. <laughs> huh? You stole your phone or? My poker. Don't. He's gonna, he gonna poke her. <laughs> you poke yeah, your daughter. Da dum bum. Whoops, I didn't want to peel that back that much. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woohoo. Woohoo, Miku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sounds like the Beatles out there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Give me my finger. No. Oh. <laughs> this is just irritating me, this part. <laughs> you just scream like a girl. I did. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay, so. Let's make sure we get this right. I wonder if it sounds the same to us, you know, over the camera. Because that was really funny. All right. There we go. Of course you did. Oh, really tape? I wouldn't even be able to imitate that scream. Oh, my gosh. My voice can't go that high. There we go. Ah. Now... Good and stuck down. So let's take this one now. Bleep, bleep. Hi, baby. He's saying hi, baby. So he's saying. Yeah. Yes, he is. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yeah. Whoa. Ugh. Oh, this stuff is not forgiving. I can tell you that. You stick her down. It's permanent. <clears throat> and it's going to stay there. Even if you didn't want it there. It's a cleaner. Yes, but this is super good tacky tape. I love this tape. And that's what I made. This is what I put in my mini album when I got it all together. I used all this red tape. <laughs> so, it, because it's really sticky on the edges, you've got to keep these, put these back on them. Or you're just going to have a hell of a mess. All right. There. Just stack these on top of each other like that. And move them out of my way for now. Okay. I'll say my tattoo a froze. You'll need them. What the heck, Clint? <laughs> KK, read that. Oh, uh, my, my tap froze. I'm refreshing now. I knew something was up when it wasn't moving. I was like, it's too quiet in that chat. Clint? The heck is going on at your house, Clint? <laughs> Okay. 
No gunk on my scissors. Love that. Oh, hold on. Let's hit the pause button on this bad boy. Is it working now? No. I'm still refreshing. Are you on Wi Fi? Yeah, I'm on Wi Fi. All right, hold on. Sorry, my pajama pants fell off and had to tie them. <laughs> Why'd your pajamas fall off, Clint? Yeah, I am. I'm scared to know. Okay. Perfecto. Done. Put that cart. So now we need to put our book together like this. We need to join our book. Our book. We need to join our book. Oh, wait, I got to cut my tie back. And it's going to get joined. They're going to butt up to each other like that. Yes, ma'am. And then there's a butt up there like that. What's everybody making for dinner tonight for me? Because I'm, I'm really hungry. Uh, but I need my tie up envelope, and I don't know where it is. Right here. I want oh, so. macaroni, tomato macaroni stuff. These here would be a perfect size, so you want to cut two one-inch pieces. Where's my cutter? Oh, it's over here. All right, I need one inch pieces. You know what? I'm going to go one and a half just because I can. Crystal oh, said, has shoot. anyone heard from Angela? Nope. I haven't since New Year's. I have not. I watched Crystal last night on her first live stream. So did Ruby, and so did Boho. I don't want the one with the seam. So I'm going to cut another one. Okay. Done with that. Just cutting the fold off. Of I this didn't get middle. notified, so I missed it. Well, I watched it, watched some of it this morning. <coughs> it was I pretty late. Up, I got up at four thirty, went to the bathroom, turned my computer on, and there was Crystal live. <laughs> she kept you up, didn't she, Crystal? I didn't do it. Okay. Now I need to score these at. I'm gonna go all over to just my food. Insomnia enabler now. Enablers, enablers, enablers. All right, there's my, these are my hinges. Oh, I need some animals in this house. When do you get your doggy? Uh, I don't know. Don't know? Should be sometime in February. Mm -hmm. At least second week in February, somewhere around there. Right. It's about, it's about long enough to be weaned, so. Yeah. All right, where's the other? Okay, so you want to put score tape. That's an awful long time to wait with no cuddles in between. And then you'll see why I cut this this long or wide. Just because it's really hard to get this. Go straight. 
and get it away from. Here's a little pucker. That's okay. Don't worry. Your boys as in children, Debbie? She's going to send me your kids. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, you won't be bored anymore. God, can't even imagine. I'm not a mom, so, you know, and I haven't babysat sat in a lot of years. I don't know. She'll probably beat the kids. <laughs> no. Just put them out in the snow. They'll slow down once they get cold enough. Yeah, they do. <laughs> you put them in the closet and, f and just feed them flat food, whatever can fit under the door. Yeah, there you go. Works. Actually, kids absolutely love me. It used to make me very dismayed when I was a young person, you know, really young. Yeah. But once I got, you know, in my teens, I absolutely love kids. I remember when I was living in Mexico, I was at the grocery store, and this little kid came from nowhere, just comes running up and just death grips both of his arms around my leg. I couldn't move. I could not move, at, and there's no parent in sight. So this child, about two years old, is just wrapped with, has his arms wrapped around my legs. I'm completely pinned. And he's just staring up at me, grinning. Really? Yeah. That's too cute. It was adorable, but I'm, I was getting a little worried. It's like, okay, well, I can't stand here. I'll uh, sooner or later, I'm going to have to peel you off of me. <laughs> But his mom came around the corner a couple minutes later, and she was pretty much mortified. <laughs> like, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> it was cute. He was adorable. Big smile, those big black eyes, long eyelashes staring up at me. He must have been about two. I don't know why he did that. I've had kids do that to me. Many times in my life, just come up and, like, Velcro themselves to me. I have no clue what's up with that. Oh. <laughs> now that, that did pull the hair on my arms. Ow. Yeah. Ow. 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 All right. Now, time to put our book together. Okay. Let's get her done. Put this one that way so it's not in my way. And let's move this now because I don't need this right now. It makes it really hard to slide things on. So we're going to have to butt it up like that. So let's peel one side. Butt it up, butt it up. Yes. So I want to get as close to the edge as I can. <laughs> Linda, I have I have no idea. It's uh, Tony. My boyfriend's been witness to that too. Is he just we just stand and laugh and look at each other. Like there's there's a child glued to me. I I do not know this child. <laughs> it's not my child. Okay, these were not quite long enough. So these extra pieces I have here, I am going to I'm going to put a piece on just because I don't want my book coming apart so I'm going to add a piece on it you've never made anything that's going to come apart ever uh you know just to be securely say on the safe side oh wait I gotta score this I only need two little pieces so I'll just score this one pull the scoreboard out just for this teeny tiny piece Oh. All right. Oops. 
let's put some score tape on this side. <laughs> I don't know how big of a piece I'll need, so we'll just do it this way. I bet when you logged out last night or this morning, you were pretty stoked, weren't you, Crystal? Okay. Having that under your belt. I had to feel good. And All this right. will be coming to the to the rescue. Let's peel this off. Let's get a join here. Gotta get Wait, which side? Yeah, I have the right side. We are good. I made an emergency surgery on this. That. That surgery. And we're just going to peel this off. So that's going to stick there. Okay. So it's all fixed. My spine is good. Now we will butt this up to each other. Let's get a flat surface here. Oh, Debbie, yeah, I, I would have loved to have sons. I can't have kids, but I always thought it would be great to have sons. Kids are so funny. They just keep you going. They get a kick out of young people. So I bet you guys have a lot of giggle times at your house. Okay, so butt that up nice, on um, even on both ends. Push from the middle, and then work your way up. And there's your hinge. Very yep. nice. Yep. You can already tell how sturdy it is. Yeah. Okay, don't bend it back this way, though. You will snap your book. All right, there's one done. Where's the other one? We have to do... Emergency surgery on this one, too. Oh. Yeah. So let's peel. Give me a piece of tape. Hey, Jen. Oh my gosh, does anybody have any suggestions about how to get your nose to stop running? <coughs> I don't like medicines. I, I'm actually not allowed to take any type of cold medications. So I'm kind of screwed, aren't I? <coughs> Goodness gracious. There we go. All right. So now we have our whole hinge done. <coughs> Hi, Mary. Where's Hi. Mary? Hi, Mary. Get in here, woman. <coughs> I missed you too. Then I can be like like the meat in a sandwich. Between KK and Mary. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it this way. Shoot. I feel the two good. tampons, Penny. Problem solved. <laughs> Shove it. <laughs> Bye, Clint. Look at me. I'm a sandwich. I 
I need some nose corks. Don't ask, because I don't even know if there's such a thing, but... Did he bring you some more coffee? Okay. Last butt up. All right. What's the order count at now, Ruby? What's what? The order count. I don't know what that is. What's the order from, count? From your store. What's the count up to? Oh, it's over 300. Holy. Yeah, it's like I said, me and Jeff are having a hard time getting all these orders out. So everybody's just going to have to be really patient. Yep, just oh. take your time because everybody, we all know. Get, I don't want to get burnt out either. No. Nope. No. Nope. So. Nope. Take plenty of breaks. Yeah. Do it at your own pace. Everybody, every one of us knows the situation. We know what's going on. Yes. Oh. Okay. There's no reason for us to get uppity. No. There is my journal, guys. Look at how it's going to be. Isn't that cool? Oh, wow. I love how thick the spine is. Yes. Because, like I said, I'm going to be doing some mixed media crafting in here. Like Angela is going to be doing some too. I don't know if she's going to make her own journal or not. But I bet she does. I bet you she does too. And she'll probably take hers a whole new level. So, as I said, I was going to cover in here with a piece of this because, you know, I don't want to skip, miss any pages. I am going to glue down. Um, here and here. I mean, here. Is that my phone? The white card stuck. Okay. So I need some pencil lines. All right. So where does this end? Actually, I want I want thicker cardstock than that. I want to use 110 pound cardstock for this. Okay. Where? Let's see. There are ladies in chat whimpering about turning 30. Y'all are lucky I can't reach your foreheads right now. <laughs> I would bop them. <laughs> yep. Twanging everybody's forehead. Shush you. <laughs> yeah, right? I think I've got bras older than that. More than likely. Yeah. Okay. So this is the part that I'm going to cover up my spine so it'll hide all my mess. <coughs> but the back ones here, I want to be able to journal on those. So let's take a measurement. See how big any piece I need. I want to kind of basically cover almost all of it, which isn't going to happen. But it's close enough. So I need two pieces like this. So that's going to be that. <coughs> that's going to be. Is it super windy there? No, why? Oh, man, it's just unbelievably windy here. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. I, yeah, I thought it sounded like, like something just like the garbage cans or something were flying around out there. Oh, 
goodness. Way across the yard on the garage. <clears throat> we were really windy, but it's not so much anymore. It's kind of tamed, tamed down a bit. Was it yesterday? Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's why we got it today then. Yeah. We're always about a day apart for our weather. Yeah. That is strange because it didn't last very long. It only went on for about an hour, but holy crap, was it loud wind. Like, really? Yeah, and then now it's nothing. I hear no wind. Strange weather. Yep, it sure is. We call it Minnesota <clears throat> five-minute weather because I swear from, you know, one five minutes to the next, it's different weather. Right. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. It's weird. Yep. All right. This looks pretty good. <clears throat> Have to do say so myself. Someone is scratching at the door. You know who that is? Yeah. Elvis. Of course. He misses his gamma. Yeah, he's not getting in here because all he does is bark. Aww. <laughs> he just wants some love. Um, well, he barks too much. So I'm going to pass. <laughs> Even if you're loving on him, does he? Yeah. He barks a lot. Bark back at him. You ever done it? Right. No. I've done that. Dogs, they'll just like, their mouth just slams shut and they stand there and look at you like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> right. <laughs> it freaks them out. It really does. It stuns them for a couple seconds. <sighs> Go right up in their face and bark really loud just like they do. They don't know what to do with that. Yeah. <clears throat> This paper, this tape is so sticky that you just don't want to get it stuck to you. Because you ain't getting it off. Especially your arm hairs. Yeah. Right? Oh. Okay. So let's see how amazing job I did of sticking this down now. Pretty darn good. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> this part here isn't going to matter because the majority of it will be covered, but that's why you have to use really good tape. Okay. Now, what am I stuck on? Shoot. All right, I'm going to take a little break because my little doggy here is scratching like crazy. Can you hear her? Uh -huh. probably, yeah, Not she, really. It's super, super, super distant quiet. Yeah, she's scratching my heck out of the door. I'll be right back. Aww. And I'm going to go run and blow my nose. Be right back, too. It's your ear show, and KK. I'm right here watching Zach. Uh oh. The cray cray. Let's see. It's the cray cray with KK, KK show. Mother. It's the cray cray KK. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I will show y'all. I can't see chat right now. So give me a second. This is the little junk journal, Christmas junk journal that I made with envelopes. And then if you can see, they're all envelopes. Every single one of them. I'm trying to find one so you can see. See, it's an envelope. 
with an envelope. I made it with envelopes. Little pocket. Another envelope. A little shaker here. Pocket. Uh. <laughs> Oops. We're going to blurp that out. I'll have to explain about that later. Little pocket here. Oh, and this is the little spectrum markers. Oh, these little horse picture sticker my sister gave me. She put a unicorn on it. Because she tried to say it was a unicorn. I was like, that is not a unicorn. So that's what I have on that one so far. And these are just beads I put on it. Shake on the front. And actually, there's a pocket right here, too. Yep. And then, I've been... Here's the painty papers I made. That's one. I accidentally burnt it a little. That's okay. It gets a character. These are all just watercolors. Another envelope. When I said that much, my butt hurts. Ruby's back, y'all. I'm back. Okay, now we have to stick these down. I am only putting my book together today. I am not <clears throat> I'm not doing any journaling today. No, no art journaling. And I'm also going to put one on this side too. Because I want to be able to uh, journal this. I should cut two more. One for the back and for the spine. Oh, geez. I forgot about the spine. So I need one for here. Okay. So let's just get these cut. Oh. And for those of you that came in late, <clears throat> I'm going to show you my finished Twas the Night Before Christmas album. It is all done. And I think I will need three because they're not big enough. Ugh, ouch. All right. I want them all the same size. Why not? Right? Why not? That one's done. <clears throat> All right, and that one's done. Wow. <clears throat> and now I need this side here. So I need to measure how big I want to make this one. God, it's hot in my room here. Whew, it was cold, but now it's freaking hot. Where's my pencil? I want to do one there. And one to do above there. Okay. So let's trim it here. Whoa. <clears throat> I have a super dry, dry mouth, throat. And I'm really hot. I'm going to turn that fan on right shortly here. Okay. And let's see if they're 
all the same size. The spine seems like it's a wee bit longer. <clears throat> I'm trimming it off. There. All right, we are done with this. Hope. Oh. Cool. Garbage. No saving garbage. Let me see here. Yes, perfect. Perfect. It's so perfect. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you know what? I could probably just glue these down. <clears throat> you know that? I don't need all that score tape. I just needed it for this part because this is what's going to be holding my pages. So let's just glue it. Let's use the big end. Does it get more glue out this way? Yes, you do. But I'm not used to this tip. <laughs> okay, sorry. I can't use that end. <clears throat> I have to be. Ooh, I'm hot. But the heat's jacked up to 90. Get that on my page here. <clears throat> okay. Flip it over and glue it. <clears throat> I could use this. Make sure it's all sealed on the edges. And she's good. <clears throat> so this only means I'm putting this here because I want a journal on it. That's all. I could paint pictures on it. I could watercolor on it. I can do whatever I want. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. So haven't even thought of my first page or my front cover or anything. In fact, I'm probably going to save the front cover for the last. <clears throat> that would be cool. Yeah, just because we'll be handling this book a lot, <clears throat> right? And we just don't, don't want to wreck the front already. Okay. <coughs> I'm opening my mail. I got two two things from the company that will not be named. Oh, okay. <coughs> All right. Let's see if they're bent. Look at how nice our book looks. Even though we don't have our front pages on yet, I'm going to glue this on first. Make sure you do the textured side on the outside. Nope, everything was safe and not bent. Yeah. Not all of mine came bent, just a couple of packages, two of them. They had to have been together, you know what I mean? I tried to straighten them out in the, the big shot, but it honestly did not straighten them out. At all? <clears throat> no. But it cut them. <clears throat> really? It, yeah, it cut just fine. I made those tags. I'll show you them. They're in my, it was the night before Christmas. Yeah, I saw those earlier. I didn't know that was. That was them. They cut well, fine. Well, they still work. Yeah, they, they work. Not so it must smush them down just enough to make them cut, but they just don't stay that way. Yeah. Well, not a total loss, that's for sure then. Oh, not like the other one. The other one was broken. 
but yeah. you know, being yeah. that it's just thin metal, you'd think that you know they would put some cardboard, you know, or something around them, but they just come in those little envelopes. Yeah. I would love to see how they, you know, actually put them on the the planes and everything. Can you imagine? Just big crates of them. Tons yeah. of weight on top. Yes. Can you imagine? Be scared to see. I'm surprised any of them make it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And that's a long journey. Yes, it is. Oh, tiny houses are so neat. People in the chat are talking about tiny houses. They're so neat. Yes, they are. All right. This is ready to go. One more page. And we're done. And then I just got to put the pages in. KK's uh, studio, her she shed is is bigger than a tiny house. I'll say her she shed's huge. Yeah, it is. I would love a big storage like that. I was that. just getting ready to say. Why? I can't have a tiny house. I said I was getting ready to say I can't have a tiny house. None of my stuff will fit in it. Yeah, it, mine wouldn't either. No, mine wouldn't either, for sure. This is the tiny room that I'm in, and a tiny house would be worse. Deku's cage alone would just take up the whole tiny house. Uh, yeah. Parrot houses are huge. Yes, his cage is huge. No, I meant like for a craft room. There's just no way that I could even fit my stuff in a tiny house. Oh. But they are cute. Yes, they are. This is adorable, guys. Adorable. It's nice and thick and <clears throat> ready for watercolor. Big doggies. Oh my God. All right, we are done with the page. Now it's time to get the pages in. Get rid of the glue. It's like they knew I had the, the uh, unmute button on. See, look. So, guys, there's my journal without the pages. You know what? That looks just like a, a, th a three-ring binder that you, you, that you buy. Yeah. I mean, it's that well-made. Yeah. Well, this is all made from home. Scratch. Exactly. And it's made to my liking. So, I love it. I really do. I love this idea. Now, let's put some pages in. Let's hope all 18 of them fit. Those would be worth making, um, you know, just for actual, you know, like dye and stamp storage. and. Yeah. That'd be good storage books. <coughs> so, we're going to put the pages in like so. Beep, beep. Where is the fold? I'm going to mark with the pencil where these have to exactly go. My very first one, because that's the tricky one. Do I sound plugged up, ladies? Not really. Oh, that's good. Okay. Right there. We can never tell what we sound like to other people. No. Oh. In there, right? All right, let's get some score tape on this sucker. <coughs> Which one do I need to use? That is way too thick. This is too skinny. Okay, there is. Oh, my quarter inch score tape didn't come in yet, did it? No, just my tombow glue did. Oh well, we're gonna have to overlap. Oh, 
Crystal mm -hmm. said you should put some ribbon or something for closure so the pieces don't fall out. What pieces? Oh, yeah, yeah, I will. I don't know. She said, Ruby, you should put in some ribbon or something for closure. Okay, right, there you go. Uh -huh. <coughs> Actually, this tape works perfect. Hey, I was oh, looking yes. through for pieces to fall out. Confused me there. Yeah, I will be putting a closure just like I did on my Twas the Night Before Christmas. <coughs> I will. Okay. Don't you worry. Yes, don't you worry your pretty little heads off. <laughs> Let's peel this back and get our first page in. And we want to butt it up. This is the hard part. Tell my boyfriend to start cooking something. Yeah, Tony, get your button here. We want to it there and there. There's page one. Uh -huh. Page one is in. Now the rest will go like <clears throat> easy peasy. Okay, I need my eraser to erase my pencil lines here because I don't want it to look like a hand job. Is Shut up. Shut up. I <laughs> said I that. All right, you there's dreaded it as soon as it came out, didn't you? I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said shut Just up. Just five dollar, five dollar. <laughs> That'll cost you. <laughs> that sounds like Mary laughing. Mary's not in here, is she? No. No. No, that was me. Oh my gosh, you sounded like Mary's giggle there for a second, didn't it? Now we're just going to butt this one up to the last page. So I'm making my pages a quarter inch inside, so that means I could do lots of beautiful stuff with this. We don't expect anything else from you. Right. <laughs> Okay, so you just line it up with this other page. Don't go over top. Just an easy job. And give it a press in. There's page two. <coughs> What kind of art do you plan on filling it with? All kinds, like I'm going to watercolor in it. I'm going to mix media in it. I'm going to paint, oil paint in it. going to do a whole oh. lot of things. You have this? It's going to be you just have art. this done before my birthday? Yeah, it'll be done for your birthday, hon. When's your birthday? Oh, the 30th When's of January. Good luck. <laughs> 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 you should do a page in there. Funny things Ruby says. Hand job. Number one. <laughs> number two. Drop my boner. Right? It, it's all Jeff's fault. Yep. It's all Jeff's fault. Wait, I'm not yeah. done yet. I'm just going to throw it in the garbage. <laughs> Yep, that's going in the bin. Going in the trash. Yep. Um, I'm going to smash yeah. your face with an iron. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nico, I'm going to smash you with an iron. Look at how perfect these are. Absolutely perfect. Oh my god, this is gonna be a gorgeous book. <clears throat> Elizabeth is asking gorgeous. what kind of paper you're using for the actual pages. This is watercolor paper, 140 pound paper. I will show you it. Hey. 
What? No, big one. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I caused you guys more pain. <laughs> what? Yeah, for what? I'm begging you to order. Oh, that's oh. all right. That was, that was my whole Christmas present. Shame on you, Pen. No. Such a sea hag. Mean and nasty and That's vile I am. Right? I mean, female, I mean, not female discount, friend discount. <laughs> I'm a little bit. I couldn't get it out. All right. Next page. <clears throat> um, where's my book? It is this paper here. It's XL watercolor, 140 pound paper. Canson. Yeah. It's watercolor paper. So you can do all kinds of. I like that brand. Mixed media on it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is that I have cold another press or does it matter? I didn't. I didn't see it. What? Is that cold press paper or does it does it matter oh. in this case? No, it don't matter. I don't know if it's cold pressed or not. I don't pay attention. I didn't see it quick enough. It sits on the front generally. Oh. Her hands are fast. Right? <laughs> I take Dramamine before I watch her craft because her hands make me seasick. Who's? You. Because you're doing what? stuff so fast all the time. Start to get motion sickness. Oh, really? You like Houdini. You go fast. <clears throat> yep. Rubini. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Rubini. All right. That's five pages in my book, and they all stand up, and they're all even here. So look at how much room I have between each page. That's all I'm going to do on here. I'm not going to sit here and do all of these pages. On I have a question. So in order to work on each page, then... How much space, you know, as you're mounting pages in the book? Quarter inch. Space do you just generally allow yourself? There's a quarter inch between every single page. Gotcha. Okay. In a normal book, they're they're all flat together. So you can see I have I have room to build on the pages if I wanted to. You know? You can build on them. See? I've got room. So and who cares if it's past that quarter inch? Well, yeah. I mean, you know me. Nothing's flat. <laughs> but, yeah, right. that's, uh, that's how I built my art journal. I think this is super cute. Super, super cute. Super fantastic. All right. One more show of my – I will finish this off camera. And putting all these pages in. There's 18 of them, so <clears throat> pretty sure you don't want to sit here and watch. Yes, this stuff is. <gasps> Hi, Patsy. Sticky. Is here. I always called her Martha. She always calls me Martha. Her and my mom did. All right, so here is my finished. Ready for this? This is my finished Twas the Night Before Christmas album. I did take one of these things off the corner and put flowers here with some pine cones. These are the Tim Holtz pine cones. And I got them dangling with some little bells dangling down. All right. So this is how it opens and it closes. Right? And inside here are all the pages to the story. It was the night before Christmas, but there's also some goodies to put in here. So if you wanted to add Christmas pictures, you can add them in these. So there's pocket here. 
with a mat. Pocket here with a mat. Pocket here on this side with a mat. And pocket here, but I didn't put anything here because it gets in the way of my um, my um, magnet. And there's also a pocket here for pictures or whatever you want to do. And this is where you would start reading the story. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house. And I, I did clean all of these and I'm fingerprinting them. That's page two. And then over here, we've got a little front pocket. We have a place for pictures, photos, whatever, journaling, whatever you want to do. And it just slides right back inside there. And then this side opens out like that. And then in here is an envelope with some journaling cards. Or you can put um, pictures on those, photos on them, and put them inside the envelope would be really cool. And then this just closes up and sits in the pocket. And then there's a place to journal or add photos here and here. You put a photo on this tag as well. So it goes back inside the pocket. And close that up. Patsy, she hasn't been here for four hours. What? And then we have this page here. Yeah, no. This is the one I done on New Year's. <coughs> Was this one here. Live in this moment. And this opens up as well. And then inside here are journaling, or not journaling, photo mats on both sides. So there's a large one and a small one. So you would put photos on those and tuck them inside here. Or you can write stories <clears throat> and put them inside as well. And then it continues with the story on this page, this page, and this page. And I kept them simple. I just outlined them all in the holographic paper. And it continues here and here, here and here, here and here, and here. And then on this last page I did today, this is a waterfall and it's magnetic. So it closes and it opens and you can put a photo here, here. There's actually room for nine photos. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then it would just close up like that. And I left room here for it to bulk out. So I did this today along with this side. I did this. This is what I made with my key tag, key, or key tag, um, tag hold makers. <clears throat> I made a little pocket here, and you just slide these in. I just like them sitting like that. <laughs> and then this is a magnetic closure, and then this opens up. And then inside here is a bunch of goodies. There's the Hello Gorgeous. That's holographic. That's a, a mat. This one says enjoy it all. And then there's a tag. You just shine. And another tag. And then there's another pocket here. So there's a front pocket. And then I just made two tags for the front pocket. And then over here, I made a little pocket that says life is fantastic. And put some journaling cards here to go with your photos. And then a picture frame with the holographic on it goes in there and then just little places to do journaling so little write-ups and then this will close with the magnetic closure and then this is the last page of the story because <clears throat> here's where he says happy christmas to all and to all a good night and that's the last of the story and then on the very back cover i just made a mat with um um, a pocket. This is a really cute pocket. And then that's for pictures. You can put pictures on that. That's for journaling. Or you can put a picture here and journal beside it. <laughs> and this one as well. For picture and you can journal. And then there's just this little notepad that came in the paper pack. <clears throat> I just like these to and then I just sat that 
like this. And then that's the back end of it. And then I close it up. And there's the very back cover. And that's the actual back cover of printed on fabric as well. So everything's printed on fabric. And <laughs> that, that is the end of the Twas the Night Before Christmas book. Patsy uh, wants you to read her the story. Yeah, not, not going to happen, sis. <laughs> No. Uh, <clears throat> no. And I put this on here. This is uh, really cute. So Patsy wants to um, ribbon from Debbie. And this, I'd say it's full enough. I don't want it any fuller than that because then it's just going to bulk it out and it's going to look like hell. And I just love how the front goes with this just dangling in the front like that. It's so pretty with the pine cones. Love it. Okay. There's the spine. I love some. And there's the back. So pretty. To match the front. <coughs> so everything is in these plastic. They're modge podged and they're in plastic. So they'll be preserved for many, 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 many moons. Many moons. Yeah, Deborah, this book will be going up for sale um, in my Etsy shop. I just don't know what kind of price to set on this yet. And I crafted the entire book itself the same way you can see it. I crafted it the same way I did this art journal. I crafted it with the pages here. I put all these pages in. I made them quarter inch, half inch, half inch, quarter inch. I, I just staggered them in here so I can make thicknesses. So you can see thicknesses in here. Like here is really thick, but I needed a big bulk. It, overall, the book is pretty good like that. So it's not going to gonna get damaged. No. No. Nice sturdy spine. <clears throat> yeah, it's a three and seven eighths inch spine or something. Not quite four inches, I don't think. It's a, yeah, it is four inches. Never mind. I lied. It's not gonna fall apart. Okay. No. no, unless you abuse the book. Okay. Yes. But this yeah, is you so really pretty darn hard to, to pull that apart. Yeah, this is not meant to just give to a child and say, "Here you go. Here, go play with your book." Um, I would never do that. I would keep this for the child until they're old enough to appreciate it and put it away and never use it again. So, and just keep it, read this to their children. Like so. I just absolutely love this book. And I Patsy don't think, says she's stealing it. I don't think I overcrowded it. And there it is. I was waiting for it. What? <laughs> I was going to ask Patsy how long, if she was on the road yet to come get it. <laughs> you know she wants that on the picture pages can you put photo mats behind them what picture pages <clears throat> which ones do you mean Debbie these here no I left these because these are extremely bulky because I plastic covered them <clears throat> and I use seven mil plastic so it took uh, they're kind of puffy they puff out I don't know what you mean. I mean, you could put pictures behind here. Of course. Where all the picture mats are, you can put pictures in behind. You put, put pictures here. You could even put a picture here in the corner. Like, you could do whatever you want with this book when it's yours. <clears throat> but, yeah, um, there's really no – I really wouldn't want to, to take away from the actual uh, vintage of this book. It's so vintage. Yeah, it would definitely be um, kind of an heirloom type thing. Yeah, like I would never just give this to a child and say, here you go. I'm not even a teenager. I would wait till they're old enough to appreciate things. So, yeah, that's that's the end of my book. My I did this off. <clears throat> Finished it off camera because it was just taking so long and it was all repetitive stuff. Nobody wants to sit and watch me glue all these pages in. So I didn't want to do that because it was just the same thing over and over and over. So I'm glad it's done. 
So now I will put this in a plastic cover, plastic bag, and it will go in a box until it's sold because I don't want any dust on it. And that's it, guys. That's it for today, though. I think we had a very good productive show. I really, really, really love my art journal. <laughs> Even though I only have five pages in it, it's got several more to go. And I just love how these open. See, now we can work on a whole page. We can milk, we can mix media the whole page. It's just going to be so much fun. I'm looking forward to this part of my journey in 2018. I can't wait to see some paintings in it. That's what I'm excited for. Yeah, I'm thinking I might oil paint on the front cover. I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, that would be really, except for the dry time, but, yeah, that would be nice and, and what do I want There'll be a total of 18 pages. Pretty indestructible. I'm putting 18 in here. There's enough room to put 18 pages. I counted for it. Maybe. I hope. If not, I'll let you guys know. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it'll hold 18. I've only got five. It might not. It might only hold 15. Who knows? I don't care. As long as I have pages in here to play with, <laughs> I'm good. I'm good, good. Yeah, there's nothing stopping you from making, you know, a set. You can make another. And again, I, will, I want to make this to be another heirloom piece. You know what I mean? Like all the pieces that I do, I like it to be heirlooms. Something that can be passed down on to generation to generation. Very cool. Good luck, sister, because I'm on vacation for two weeks. Good luck. It'll what? be gone. This book will not make past. This book will not make it past <laughs> the night. my vacation time. I can tell you that. <laughs> you know what? Miku will probably probably rat you out. Bye, Vicky. She'll come home from work, and the first thing out of Miku's beak is, Patsy was here. Patsy was here. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Patsy stole you your book. You took shit. Patsy took <laughs> shit. Yep. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, I need to train you. Too. I could just see that. Can you imagine? Yes. Oh Him telling on her. We were in here all day and I was working on this and Jeff was pulling bead orders. And all I could hear is Hi, just get stitches. Hi Miku. Hi Miku. He was saying hi Miku all day. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> likes to greet himself. Hi, Miku. Hi, Miku. Because he's so used to me saying it to him. It's so cute. Talking hi, to, baby. Talking to himself as the third person. Yeah, he'll squawk on you all right, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a loose beak. <laughs> <laughs> loose beaks. <laughs> Get Auntie Patsy busted. <laughs> yep. All right, well, I will be listing my book. I don't know how much. It probably will be around $200 for this, I would say. And and remind everybody, especially new people, that when they do want something, that they need to message you on Facebook if yeah, you want it this, bad. This is not even listed in Etsy yet, so because nope. I just finished this today. And I wiped down all the plastics because it's that really thick plastic. And it killed my wrist. I'm sitting there with my bone folder. Where is that? What happened to my bone folder? Oh, no. Don't lose that again. I was sitting <laughs> trying to Oh, score, she's actually calling a bone folder. Not a bone. Score all the plastic. And I was <laughs> holding it like this and going like this in my scoreboard <laughs> because my hand was hurting so much and I had to do 11 pages still. I had to score 11 sheets of this hard plastic. So it, I'm telling you, it was like my wrist was just breaking. <laughs> I was like <laughs> sitting there going like this. <clears throat> but ready to turn it on the thing. <laughs> oh my God. I have to, you have to score it four times all the way around. And then put the picture inside. I had to score tape every one of them, score tape them closed, and score tape them on the pages. Because score tape, I think, will hold better. Uh, they hold way better. 
Yeah, and I love how puffy these pages are. It's so cute. I just love it. Poof. They're poofy. Poof. Poofy. Really poofy. They're nice and straight. Okay. Uh, can you all hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did do that. I took white flowers, Please. prima flowers. I colored them with my red ink, and I put the wink of Stilla on them. You can tell that. They're sparkly. Sparkly. They look like they're frosty. Like you know, they That's have frost. That is. Yeah. Yeah, I did color those myself. Patsy had asked. Patsy had but, asked earlier, how'd you hurt yourself on your arm? Yeah. She said, you have an owie on your arm. She said, let, right there? She said, let, her, let her know who gave you the boo-boo. I told her while well, I said she was giving hand jobs earlier. Yeah, that, oh was, from, my that was from my little Miku. Did he get you again? Uh, Elizabeth Brewer, this is what I use. This is what I use, the red tape, because this stuff is high tack, super, super sticky. And especially for your foundation and the building, the, like the rest of it, the rest of this here, I use just score tape to put the plastic on the actual pages. And I use score tape to put it on. And but with the, the building of my books, I use the red score tape just like I did in this journal because I, I just want it to last forever. So you saw how much red tape, which red tape I used for all of this. And I'm also using red tape for the pages just because I want them to last forever and ever. So oh, Patsy left. Bye, Patsy. Bye, Pat. She's on her way to your house. You better hide. Yep. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Cracks me up. Yep, don't let her in. <laughs> she wouldn't. <laughs> she wouldn't go out right now anyway because it's snowing and Patsy doesn't like driving in the snow. She gets kind of scared. So I don't think anybody likes driving in the snow. No, no, That's no fun. No fun is had by anyone. Yeah, Elizabeth, there is score tape. It's this stuff right here. It is really score tape is really good too. It's really good, but the red tape is a much higher tack than this. So as opposed to this, this is sticky, right? But I can pull my finger off. Look, no problem. All right, watch what the red score tape does. <laughs> She's gonna get glued. I'll try to Bless get one you. Two sides. This stuff, when you stick to it, it don't come off that easy. You're stuck. Yeah, this is very sticky, high tack, tack, tack. Very, very high glue. It's really hard to, like, look at. Ouch. <laughs> if she flings herself across the house. Yeah, you won't get that with this. I mean, this is sticky tape, but I can pull this off with just my fingers. You can't with this. And I'm wrecking, wrecking it. So, anyway. But this is score tape. Score palette. It's called score tape. <clears throat> and then there's one work. called wonder, wonder tape, too, right? That's also red. What? Isn't there one called wonder tape, too? That's yeah, like, there yeah. is wonder tape. And this is the big roll. And there's just a few revolutions of it. This is by yeah. Ranger. Yeah, it's a ripoff. Yeah, anything on it. You hardly get anything compared to what you get in these. Like, this is a brand new roll. You only got, like, a little bit on here. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like, what you... look how skinny it is. Not sure what I could tape shut with that. <clears throat> yeah, that's too small. You can tape loud beaks closed with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect size for yeah. beak wrapping. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> the visual, oh my goodness. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's out there. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having way too oh much fun God. with the visual. 
You are so crazy. <laughs> I know it. I know. Oh my god. No amount of medication seems to help. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, I'm getting going here. I'm going to go help Jeff finish the bead orders because. Poor Jeff and Ruby. Oh, my God. No, it's we're the, we didn't expect to get 300 orders either. Well, you have a lot of people, you know, just in here alone. Oh, my and God. I was looking all at all, the all this groups. stuff I haven't put online yet. <laughs> I know. I keep camping it. Oh, my God. I keep camping. You get the red tape from eBay, Tammy. Um, hang on. I'm going to give you guys a link. Let me go get it where I bought it. Yeah, eBay has better deals on that. Well, in Very general. good deals. Mm -hmm. very, Even better very... than Amazon. Oh, heck yes. Amazon doesn't have very good deals on Well, not. I, you do have to check over and over and over, but... Yeah. So far, I haven't seen better deals. No. All right. So here is the lady that sells all the different sizes. This It looks really thick in the picture, but it's not that thick. That's just really magnified. Promise you. Uh, click on here and this is where you'll get where I bought mine from and it's got all the sizes I bought every single size every single size in the millimeter Why am I not seeing the link and I got 50 meters of it I don't know can you see it no oh, you put it in the chat right oh there it is oh my gosh the chat was frozen yeah it's there yeah it is now it just showed up for me just now that was weird. Bye, Elizabeth. Thanks for coming, hon. Um, yeah, just click on that link there, and it'll bring you right to where I bought. That's This is the company I bought it from. And it doesn't look like that, honestly. It is l literally paper thin. <laughs> like, yeah. The picture makes it look like really fat foam or something like that, but it's not. It honestly is not. It is really thin. What's really thick is just the, the skin on it when you peel the, the, the back. The, the backing off of it, that's what's thick, this stuff. It's oh, not the taste sure, of it. that's what we're seeing. What? This is like a third of the price of everywhere else. Did I see what Patsy said? No, what did Patsy say? I missed what Patsy said. Let me see if I can I scroll. I not see anything else. Uh, did she leave? Hey, can I have some to do my eyebrows? I need that tape. What? Hey, can I have some to do my eyebrows? I need that tape. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't get it. Explain, uh, please. <laughs> for her eyebrows. <laughs> just yeah, put red whatever. tape on her eyebrows? <laughs> I bet you this would work. <laughs> What Should I hell? try it on my arm and see if I can rip the hairs off my arm? <laughs> oh, I know what you... Okay, now I get it. I don't know what let's I was see. thinking. Let's see if it'll rip some hairs off my arm. Oh, my, my God. No, it just ripped the oils off. It's too already too... It's already too dry. Like, not dry, but all the oils off my fingers are all over it. So. Well, you just exfoliated. <laughs> oh, my God. Ouch. <laughs> You nut. I can't believe you just tried that. I know, right? Ow. I try to, I try to pull the hairs off my arms. <laughs> Does it on purpose? Because I'm waxing. Wax on, wax off. Oh. <laughs> cheap, cheap bikini wax, everybody. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> There's a visual. Oh, why does, why do your other regions look like it like it's candy striped? What? <laughs> Walk around with red stripes. Oh, red tape. The only us, only us, only us would think shit like that. Boy, we're we're not so. Yep. We're crazy. We ain't right. 
We are so crazy. So watch for this. Whoever wants this, you can message me on Facebook. Like I said, it's probably going to be around $200, but it, believe me, it's more than worth it. More than worth it. Yeah, oh, and a lot really of work fun. went into that. Yes, it's enough. I never cheated on anything on that. I don't cheat on my stuff anyway. Nope. Nope. Look at that. My desk is still clean, ready for me to come in and finish the pages on my art journal. I'm, I'm excited about this. I really am. I'm excited for you to get working inside of it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But I only want to do one page at a time. Like, I'm hoping this is going to last all year, right till December. I want to do all the seasons in here, like all four seasons. Oh. Yes. Yes. That's what I want to do. That's my, my goal. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this thing is going to be stunning, stunning, stunning. So are you going to do winter first since it's winter right now, or are you going to wait till spring? No, I want to wait. I'm going to do spring. I want to wait to do Christmas with the winter. Oh. Series. I want to – actually, I want to do one with a red cardinal with tr – looks like 3D trees, fences, trees with the branches. I got it in snow all in spots. Like, I want to do stuff like that. But I want to save that for next because Christmas. Oh, my God. That is going to be so pretty hung in my craft room. <laughs> Han, what, are you going to rip my page out? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just going to make a gallery wall out of every page. <laughs> all right. I am definitely, definitely leaving now. Okay, guys. I got to go help Jeff. Poor Much love to everybody. Small. Stay warm. Guys, love you all. Thank you for joining me. And I will talk to you guys real soon. Not sure when because we are swamped with bead orders, but we're trying to. We can only do so much a day and get it done. So be patient with me and Jeff. Be patient. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye, sister. Bye, sister. <laughs>